2.4D least common multiple LCM with variables. To find the LCM with variables, again we want to use all the unique factors, just like when we were dealing with numbers, and we want to assign the highest exponent to each variable. In our first example here, remember that we're going to use all the unique factors, so our unique factors here are A, B, and C. Our highest exponent for A is 3, our highest exponent for B is 7, our highest exponent for C is 1, oh, and I missed a variable, we're going to have a d, and our highest exponent for d is squared. So that means that our LCM is a cubed b to the seventh c d squared. You can think of um, having the variables as already being in, it's like the numbers already being in a prime factorization or prime factor there, so that they all you have to do is deal with each one of the unique factors and then highest exponent. For our second example here, we have numbers involved. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and um, deal with 6 and 8. We're going to just use mental math here to get the LCM of 6 and 8. The smallest number that both 6 and 8 will go into is 24. I do not need to do a prime factorization if you can see it easily. Now, let's look at our variables. We have an x, we have a y, we usually write these in alphabetical order, and we have a z. Now we want to take the highest exponent for each one of these variables. For our x, that will be our 3. For our y, that will be a 2, and for our z, the exponent will be a 1. So our LCM then is simply 24x cubed y squared z.